It's been a long nine months for you, George, coming back from a really terrible injury that you sustained at a game, playing for MK Dons after yeah. you'd gone out on loan, having signed a new contract here. Can you talk me through that nine-month period and how, how tough it's been for you? Well, obviously, the first when I initially did it, that first moment when I got the results back was probably the hardest point ever in my career. Did you um, know how bad it was when you actually sustained the injury, or was it only when no, you had the not result? at all. Like when I when I did it, like I've got back up and I've come back on. I was, I've come back on to try to defend the corner and try to turn and run off, but no, then he then he wasn't wasn't having it. So like, when I come off, still the next day I was still like positive, thinking maybe two or three weeks. I actually said to someone, it's going to be six weeks at the most. And then when when I spoke to the physio and they said, listen, you're going to be out for probably nine months like phew. so after you'd had the operation and you were told that you couldn't train or you couldn't do anything for an extended period of time mm. how, what was going through your mind at that point how difficult was that for you yeah it was really frustrating like I'm always like up and quite like bubbly person around the training ground so for for me it was really hard to just sort of have to come in and sit on the physio bed every day from nine till four or whenever it was and not be able to do anything, just literally doing basic exercises for my knee. Yeah, it was really hard, and and especially the season was still going on, so I was having to watch the football as well. I found it, I found it really hard. Um, the first three weeks, first three weeks were the hardest, and then it sort of picked up once I could start doing a bit more, a bit more rehabilitation. It sort of got a little bit better and a little bit easier. And then before you know, I was, I was counting down, counting down the weeks until I could get outside and run and get outside and train so how did it feel that first moment when you were out there with a the ball again and you could actually play and well I remember it. it was in it was in Portugal and I'd done a quite a lot of running with with Tim the physio and I'd done quite a lot of that stuff and then he sort of said like this time you're going to do it with a ball and I was thinking like, I don't know if I'm ready for this and I remember I've got the ball and he said I've got to do a little dribbling exercise and I was trying to run, but I forgot how to run with a football. So like the ball was going everywhere, and I just it took me about three goes until I realised that I was actually running with a football again. Um, but no, that that was probably the happiest moment in six months I'd had. Now you've got six under twenty one games under your belt. Do you feel like you're really getting back to the match fitness that you left behind nine months ago? Yeah, definitely. Um, of some things that I still do, I still think uh, I need to be sharper there, but it's coming back. It is, yeah, it's definitely coming back. Um, it's taken taken us time. I didn't realise how long it was going to take, like actually getting a hundred percent sharpness back and your fitness. Um, but no, it's coming back, and uh, I'm getting happy again. Yeah. And when there were there moments when you first started playing again that you were a little bit nervous about, you know what you might do sustaining another injury or a little you know a bit concerned about how much your body could do yeah definitely um i remember in my first my second game back maybe it was i've sort of got in a position and it was the same position where i'd done my injury and like just before i went went to go and do it i just pulled out and thought i'm not i'm not going in for this i don't I'm, i don't feel confident um but now i've played six games now and each game has got a little bit easier and you slowly start to forget about forget about your injury like my knee feels really good um i've had a few problems with my, my muscles around it but my actual knees felt really good since i've been back so that's confidence so there's still a little way to go for you to feel a hundred percent fit yeah i'd say so i think i'm i'm definitely at the at the end point now um obviously i played played for wales in the week um which was real positive for me um, but no, I think I'm definitely at the that end point of being back 100%. That must have been difficult for you, missing out on those fantastic games and the atmosphere that was around Wales at the time of qualification. How good was it to pull that red shirt on again and get out onto the pitch? Yeah, it's been it's been a hard year. Obviously, we've had the second round of games in the Euros and to have to sit at home and watch them, um, it was tough and it was painful. Um, does that make you more determined? More determined to get 100% fit? More determined to play football? Yeah, definitely. Because um, obviously now that we've qualified and so happy that we've qualified now, that's sort of a goal that I've got um, to make sure that I'm on that plane come the end of the season to go to the Euros. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a goal for me.
So over the last 10 days, Fulham has replaced Kit Simons as manager and yet to appoint the new manager. What are the priorities for you and the squad that you're around every day? What's what's the mood in the camp like? Um, well, at the moment, everyone's got the same ambition, really. Just MK Dons is coming up on Saturday and we all just want to we wanna win. That, that's everyone's ambition here. Um, and then whether the new manager comes in before then or after then, it doesn't change anything we just want to win every game and everyone wants to work hard and hopefully when the new manager comes in it will really help us and we can all work together to to get as high up as the table as we can everyone's focused that's all we talk about top six we need to get there it doesn't matter how we do it that's where we need to get come the end of the season and your personal targets well i just i'm just happy to be back playing football i want to play as much football as i can before the end of this season Hopefully I can get some minutes for the first team. If not, I have to be 21s, but I just, just want to play football at the moment. Thanks for talking to us, George, and we wish you luck. Thank you, Sarah.